You never know quite the conditions you're going to be launching into. You better not have things really down rote because life ain't like that. Completing goal is actually the objective. When I was six, I jumped off the back of my porch with a sheet attached to my wrists and my ankles. Didn't hurt myself real bad when I landed, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a good landing. It was on concrete. We do have a reserve parachute on board in case we need to use it. By signing this, this gives you a third party uh, liability uh, insurance also so if we should land down there and maybe uh on someone's hood or their car or something you know uh we're covered you're covered the faa um uh, for your protection does not certify uh this glider to uh be an aircraft um and it does not certify it for tandem flights but the manufacturer does certify you assume all risk you realize this is a dangerous sport today is the today is the 13th and here you go sir it's your 30-day membership you're a p1 the first time I got off the ground was behind a kite when I was 11 and I built a kite with a double sheet and it was huge kite with rope one by twos and I actually got off the ground underneath this kite that was exciting we got a little storm okay. cell coming in you feel the wind uh, has picked up a little bit and it's got a little gusty and uh, more moisture has came in so that's associated with a, a prefrontal conditions and uh, it gets very difficult to get down it lifts it generates a whole lot of lift it took me a long time to learn how to fly i'm not a natural pilot but i love it you know another uh, 10 15 minutes and then we'll have post frontal conditions and those are much smoother and uh, calmer not as gusty it's starting to look like a party up here again. It's called pair waiting. <laughs> so everyone's uh, telling stories about their last flight. Uh, I couldn't get down. I just couldn't get down. Oh, wow. There was a gust front that was coming in. I tried to get down. It was getting bad. 
Yeah, my glider just took a couple of little claps and said, I'll catch it. I did. How's it feel? It's good. I've had my whole life I've had flying dreams. I always wanted to fly like Superman, but I didn't want to fly real fast, because Superman flies scary fast. Well, I, the paragliding was the speed I wanted to go. I learned how to fly airplanes. After I figured it out, it was like driving a truck. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to be free as a bird. I didn't want to have to be talking to any tower about this or that, or flying any expensive piece of equipment. I just want to fly like a bird. And I think that the pilots that I fly with, I think probably the most impressive thing is that two weeks, like two weeks ago, I landed in some trees and eight superheroes come running down the hill. So my pilot buddies, each and every one of them is this superhero just waiting for some need to come up. They took charge. I didn't have to do a thing. People had saws for cutting down trees and delimmers and all this stuff. And each and every one of them was right there. And I would be right there if the same situation, in fact, the same situation did happen. It happened about 45 minutes later, and I was one of the first down the, the hill to help this other guy out. So it sounds like we land in trees a lot. We don't land in trees a lot, but sometimes conditions are such that there are multiple tree landings at one time. Here's your helmet. We better get a flight in. I was flying at Oceanside last year, and I was up maybe 150, 200 feet above launch, and the wind was coming in fairly strong. And over to my left, there was a kestrel hawk. He was not very far from me, so close that I could see his eyes. And every so often, he would look over at me, and I would look over at him. And then he would look down, and I would look down. And I realized that to this guy, I probably looked like just a big bozo. Here I am just flopping around up in the wind, and he's looking down, and he's looking for a blade of grass to move so he can strike. Now he's not having fun. He's working for a living. Hanging next to that kestrel hawk, I just realized how very, very privileged I was to be in the air and that I didn't belong there and I had no business there, but that this time around, for whatever reason, I was blessed with this ability to actually actualize this idea of flight, to actually do flight, to actually fly. I can fly. That's an amazing thing. That's just amazing. Well, while bicycles are amazing, they're not amazing, my flight, flight is just really, truly, truly amazing. There is a point to life.